Hi, I'm Sam Alfano. I've been a professional hand engraver for 36 years and a microscope user for 34 years. I've logged many thousands of hours with stereo microscopes such as Olympus, Miji, and Zeiss. This review is about my newest microscope, the Leica A60. When paired with the GRS Acrobat Verza microscope stand, I have never seen anything better than this for doing the kind of work that I do, such as hand engraving and stone setting. Leica is one of the greatest optical companies in the world and has been manufacturing microscopes since the mid-1800s. I've read that Leica has maybe hundreds of patents on optical glass formulas resulting in lenses of unparalleled optical performance. They are one of the finest brands for cameras and lenses, sporting optics, binoculars, and microscopes. The Leica A60 is a perfect example of Leica's innovative thinking. And there are three key features to this microscope that you should consider when selecting a stereo microscope for hand engraving or stone setting. Those three features are brightness, sharpness, and depth of field. The Leica A60 is extremely bright, even brighter than my Zeiss scopes costing thousands of dollars more. Brightness is very desirable and is very expensive to produce. If it were easy, all optics would be bright, but that's just not the case. As for sharpness, my benchmark is my Zeiss STEMI 2000 series microscope, and the Leica is at least as sharp, if not sharper, than my Zeiss. Most microscopes are adequately sharp in the center, and the sharpness starts to degrade as you reach the edges of the field of view. The Leica is extremely sharp in the center and all the way to the edges, and this is very, very high optical performance. Prior to the Leica A60, depth of field was not something that ever came into conversation when talking microscopes amongst hand engravers, because it was just accepted that the depth of field is razor thin. If you don't know what depth of field is, it's the amount of vertical distance that stays in sharp focus. For instance, if I were to focus on the top of this ring, then the bottom of the ring would be out of focus because of a razor-thin depth of field. Leica's engineers have come out with something they call fusion optics, which has increased the depth of field two to three times what a conventional microscope has. This is huge. It means more of the article stays in sharp focus, so you don't have to stop and refocus frequently. I've never seen anything like this in any other microscope ever. It is fantastic. Stepping back and looking at the eyepieces, you'll see two small circles of light called the exit pupil. You'll notice the exit pupil on the left is slightly smaller than the one on the right. This tells me that the left eyepiece has a smaller aperture for greater depth of field, and a larger aperture on the right is for brightness. Your brain combines the two for a stunningly sharp and clear view with an incredible depth of field. Here's a depth of field simulation of what you can expect with a scope at its lowest power. The image on the left is similar to what I see through my Zeiss microscope, and the image on the right is similar to what I see through my Leica. Both microscopes are focused on the engraved brass plate, which is about an inch and three-quarter or 4.5 centimeters above the red GRS logo. As you can see with the Leica, the logo and the engraved plate are both in sharp focus. In my 34 years of microscope use, I have never seen anything like this. Remember that this is at the lowest power, and in all optics, the depth of field will decrease as magnification increases, but the Leica is still much greater than the Zeiss. When you purchase the Leica A60 system from GRS, it'll come with the Acrobat Verza microscope stand, as well as quite a few other bells and whistles, including an adjustable headrest, a document holder, where you can clamp your work there to uh, refer to it while you're engraving. It also has two handles on the side which makes repositioning the microscope effortless. You can slide it out of the way and reposition it with very little trouble. The eyepieces on the microscope have rubber eye cups that just pop out like this. So if you're an eyeglass wearer, you don't have to worry about scratching your eyeglasses on the, uh, on the microscope eyepieces. So you can fold these down or pop them out, whichever is your preference. 
The A60 package also includes the Optia ring light. The ring light is mounted on the microscope stand, toggles on and off here, and it's got a dimmer switch, so it goes from very dim to almost painfully bright. It's a very powerful ring light, especially for somebody like me who uses the 0.5x objective and has 8 inches of working distance. Uh, a standard ring light can sometimes struggle to provide enough light for an 8 inch working distance. The Optia ring light is very, very powerful and very efficient. The A60 microscope package includes a 0.63 objective lens and this adapter ring right here. That adapter ring doesn't look like it does very much, but it's a very important part of the system. Not only does it allow you to attach various objective lens lenses to the microscope, but it increases the zoom range from 5 to 1 to 6 to 1. Without the adapter ring, if you attach a, an objective lens to the microscope, when you zoom the scope, the internal optics can come in contact with the objective lens, and you definitely do not want that to happen. The adapter ring solves that problem by allowing you to extend that zoom range, keep the optics from touching the uh, uh, objective lens, and allows you to attach different objective lenses to the microscope. The A60 originally wasn't designed to be used with objective lenses, but it works just fine as long as you have that adapter. The Acrobat Verza microscope stand, in addition to looking great, it's a rock-solid microscope stand. If you've ever used a microscope at high magnification and experienced any kind of vibration or shake, you know how annoying that can be. It can really keep you from being able to do your best work. The uh, Acrobat Verza stand is rock solid and easy to maneuver as well, so it's the best of both worlds. You can push it around, move it out of the way, reposition it very effortlessly, and you will not experience any vibration in the process. Another word about headrests. If you're wondering why a certain microscope stand doesn't come equipped with a headrest, it's probably because it just can't support one. If the microscope stand moves or shakes or is subject to vibration or moves too easily when you touch it, that makes using a headrest pretty much impossible. The classic GRS Acrobat stand allowed you to tilt the microscope like this, but when you did and you focused it, the focus path was still vertical. With the Acrobat Verza, the focus path follows the angle of the microscope. Here's an illustration that will make it easier to understand the benefit of having the focus travel in line with the tilt of the microscope. Assuming you've centered your scope properly, when focus travel is in line with the tilt of the scope, the center of vice rotation stays centered as you focus. If the scope is tilted and the focus travel is straight up and down, like the classic Acrobat stand, it can shift off-center as the scope is raised or lowered and is most noticeable at higher magnifications. The Meiji EMZ5 series microscope and Acrobat stand have long been the industry standard for stone setters and hand engravers. But the Leica A60, in my opinion, is going to be the new standard. It's brighter, it's sharper, it's got greater depth of field, and it's a similar price point to the Meiji. Prior to the Leica A60, if you wanted to upgrade from the Meiji microscope, the next jump up would cost maybe two or three times the price. That's not the case with this microscope. Leica has really exceeded my expectations as far as price and quality, brightness, sharpness, and of course that magical depth of field that they're able to achieve with this scope. If you already have the Meiji microscope in the traditional Acrobat stand, you can upgrade to the Leica A60 by purchasing just the microscope head and an adapter block that fits into the uh, Acrobat stand. You take four screws out, put the adapter block in, mount your new Leica microscope to it, and you're off and running. You don't necessarily have to buy an entire system. If you're just starting out, though, with a microscope, then, of course, I would recommend that you buy the entire system. But for those who already have the Acrobat stand, you're not left behind. You can buy just the microscope head and the adapter block, and it also has the adjustable tilt, 
so that the, uh, the focus stays in line with the tilt of the microscope, which is a huge plus. The traditional Acrobat stand did not have that feature. I've always told my students that the microscope is no place to cut corners. Engravers and stone setters will spend hundreds or thousands of hours looking through their microscopes, and our eyes deserve the very best. To those with limited microscope experience, all microscopes look good when you first look through them. That's because our eyes can quickly overcome optical defects. It's only after extended use do you begin to see and understand the difference that quality optics can make. The Leica A60 microscope and the GRS Acrobat Versa stand represent a very significant upgrade that I can highly recommend. For more information, check out grstools.com. And thanks for watching.